<laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? Hi, YouTube. And let me see. I probably my second video, the one I made like earlier. You know, the video was uploaded to YouTube, so I'm gonna do another, um, you know, another um video about Biggie Smalls real quick. So, okay, this video is gonna be um, you know, me talk about the rapper, the tall B.I.G. AKA Biggie Small, so <laughs> okay. Biggie was a rapper from New York, you know. You know, he made his name in New York, you know. He was a well known rapper out there, you know. He's um, yeah, he was a good rapper, you know, back then. So, you know, back in you know, back in the 90s, you know, but you know, Biggie was a um rapper that was from you know, from, from, from New York, but his story is more, more back, you know, about. About his background, you know, yeah. Big grew up in a single parent home, and you know, somehow, you know, he was a high school dropout. You know, he was, you know, doing drugs, you know, but and the big smalls, um, that's how he came from being a street person up to being a rapper, you know. Yeah, the big smalls basically, you know, did his thing, you know. He did his dirt by, you know, after doing drugs and going to jail, and then he, you know, started from there into being a, a coming a rapper, you know. And like Biggie Small's life was more um about his he trying to survive, you know. Biggie was a um you no know, a rapper, you know, that you know, that got his his um you know, his own own um style of rapping, so yeah, his first album he made was was um called Ready to Die album, you know, to which he made his first album, you know, back around ninety four, to when he made his, you know, to when his singles is basically like Big Papa, One More Chance, and Juicy, is, Juicy is some other um songs he, he made, but Biggie Smalls album was um, you know, was more um, uh, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. His um albums were more about um you know his background you know but yeah I think Big Smalls um life was, you know was going better and then until he met Tupac yeah Tupac was his friend you know back then so the Tupac was I said kind of too biggie you know about let's see I guess about the music business on. How he should be, you know, but Biggie Smalls, um, you know, was a rapper that came out of New York, you know, and he met Tupac back around 93, 94, you know, but the years went by, you know, somehow Tupac, um, you know, was around Biggie, but until, you know, things started get, getting, um, you know, out of control, you know, and Tupac was, was shot in 94, you know, yeah. And um, so I thought Tupac accused Biggie of um, you know, of being shot. Somehow they're trying to rob Tupac of his jewelry and his money, but somehow Tupac blamed Biggie for the um set up, you know. But things went out of control. But you know, yeah, I think Biggie Smalls um friendship with Tupac was kind of good a certain extent, but a tip can sour, you know, to which um you know to which. Tupac blamed blame Biggie um for the setup, you know, if we get shot, but if I think like um Let me see, I think around ninety five, you know, the whole East Coast versus West Coast beef starts to unravel, you know. Yeah. Like um let me see, I think um let me see, um, uh, let me see. I said this on my videos in the past about how Tupac Biggie's friendship was, you know, but yeah, they yeah, I think their friendship starts to spark control is because you know, over East Coast versus West Coast, you know, which is New York versus um California, but you know, the beast started to like, you know, spark control to the deals, you know, but and, and you know that yeah, that Biggie Smalls life was um you know it was kind of, you know kind of cut short though because he got murdered in 
you know, around 97, you know, I was, I was around 6 years old at the time, I was 6 years old, you know, I was 6 years old, 6 years, wait, yeah, I said around 97, uh, you know, I was 6 years old, we took part, um, you know, when Big was killed, you know, yeah, yeah Big was killed in California, you know, which was more about, um, you know, Tupac's, um, turf, you know, but Big Lee was killed for coming out of a club with somebody, you know, his partners and his, um, you know, friends. Yeah, I thought I said better name the album called um let me say let me see. I thought the second better his um his second album called Life um uh, Life After Death album to which he made his second album after he um he died but it, it, uh yeah Biggie had um you know got killed you know I did but you know because of the um beef that happened between Tupac, you know, Tupac um you know, got, got, like, into, like, um, I don't know, I said Tupac got to the fire, you know, you know, of, you know, of the beef, but, you know, they started when, um, Tupac was in jail, you know, Tupac was in jail at the time, you know, somehow, she not bad him out, you know, but, yeah, I think it started, like, you know, over the East Coast, uh, yeah, over the East Coast, um, hold on. Let me see. Let me be started over the East Coast versus the West Coast um, robbery. You, you know, they went, you know, out of control, but, and then, like, Biggie was murdered, you know, by somebody that is basically trying to, like, you know, talking to him or trying to kill him, but, yeah, I think Biggie was, was killed by, by, like, an unknown um, stalker, I don't know, somebody trying to kill him, you know, over the beef or, you know, or, the person was part of the, um, you know, of the gang. I don't know, but if I think, like, you know, Biggie Life, life could show it. You know, uh, so I think he was about 24 or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think Biggie was 24 he died. Yeah, he was murdered, you know, with young, so. Yeah, Beast Life was more about on his his life as a rapper and how he came to be a great rapper from you know from basically from New York you know and like two and yeah I think like both legends Big and Tupac is my favorite legends you know how they you know how they came up in the um you know rap game you know on how the rap game is you know but you know like Tupac and Biggie's um are two legends in the you know in the hip hop world in the you know, I say in the um, hip hop community, but hip hop culture, but you know, I think that yeah, that um, yeah, I think the culture of hip hop is basically on how Tupac and Biggie's life was, was more about on their music or on how they create music, you know, or how they're gonna like reach. <clears throat> that's a reason people though. Yeah, I talk about reason people. You know, there was a fan of Biggie Tupac music. You know, I said I'm a fan of Tupac music though, but yeah, I'm never into biggest music, um, you know, music like that. But you know, I got more involved with Tupac music though. But you know, I say like, R.P. the Biggie though, you know, you know, what's a piece of Biggie Tupac, you know, you know, yeah, I said about legends who who um you know, made it for the new generation to come into the um music industry to you know your thing. But I say R.P. to like, Big Smalls, you know. In two parts, so so. Okay, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and and I'll come back with another video probably um probably Saturday. I'm about to take a break from YouTube and come at Saturday. To, you know, you know to do another video. So so y'all stay peace and God bless. Amen.